Okay, well, hey, this is Mike. How are you? First thing I want to do is I just want to show you how I check my own web pages to see how fast they're loading and to see if there's anything I can do to speed them up. So what I'm going to do right now is go to one of my pages. Doesn't matter what it is. I've got a big header graphic up here. It's a sales page for one of my products. Um, I just want you to see what it looks like. And uh, I hey, this is Mike. Before we continue, please check out my Tube Mastery Studio. It's completely free. There are 10 videos, and there's an ebook that comes with it. it. Shows you how to get more likes, more subscribes, more engagement, how to grow your email subscriber list, how to monetize your videos from day one from the get-go. Well, check it out. Either click on the description below or just go to TubeMasteryStudio.com. I'm going to take this now. I'm going to take this URL. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to a page. This is called Pingdom. Okay, and at Pingdom, uh, it has servers in different parts of the world. It'll check and see how fast your web page loads. So let me show you how this works. I'll put my URL in here for this page I just showed you. Um, you can pick the city that you want it checked from. There are servers in these five different cities. I'm in the U.S. Most of my traffic comes from the U.S., so I'll pick New York City. I'll start to test. Usually it only takes about four or five seconds. It's running right now, and we'll see what happens. It's done. So when I come down here, here's the web page it just checked. It gave me a grade of 83 out of 100. It said it loaded faster than 93% of the other pages that it's checked. And what I'm really interested in right here is the load time is 784 milliseconds. So it's about three quarters of a second to load, which is good. If my page is loaded in under two seconds, I'm happy. Okay? But this is important because if your web pages are taking two, three, four, five, ten seconds to load, people will click off. They won't wait for that. So uh, down here, I'm not going to go through all this, but there's a lot of useful information down here that you can get about your website and what's taking time to load and so on and so forth. But the big thing I want you to see see, I'm going to blow this up right here. Big thing I want you to see right here is that the images on my web page, I have 17 images there, took up 86.9, almost 90% of the data throughput involved in loading that page came from the images. So what we want to look at to speed up your web page loading times make them load faster, is to optimize your images so that your images load faster because that will make your website load faster. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that. Okay, well, first thing I want to do is look at a web page. This is just a make-believe page I've, I've put together here very quickly. It's called Famous Cats of the World. I'm in Dreamweaver. That's the HTML editor I use sometimes. Um, this is just lorem ipsum text, dummy text I've dumped in to sort of make up a web page. Okay? Now, suppose I'm making a web page about famous cats of the world, and I come down here. Um, let's break this right here. And suppose that I want to put an image of a famous cat of the world in there. So I come up here, and I'm going to pick an image out of this folder right here, cat image, and here it is. Now let's just go into design mode. You see, look how big that image is. Let me squeeze the page down. And you can see that here's the text I want on my web page, and this image is way, way, way too big. So one thing a lot of times beginners, people do that uh, haven't made a lot of websites, is they'll grab their image, and they'll squeeze it down like this, and they'll say, oh, that looks pretty good, and leave it like that. That's a huge mistake, because when you take a big image and squeeze it down in your uh, HTML editor, that doesn't change the file size. It changes the image size, but the file size, the amount of data involved, is exactly the same. So what you want to do, and, and right now, if I click on this image, it says it's 589, about almost 600 pixels wide, and that looks good. So what I want to do is let's come in here, open up that folder, open up that image, and you can see right now that uh, I'm on a Mac. If you go to Tools, Adjust Size, you could do this in Photoshop. It's a thousand pixels wide, but I only want an image about 600 pixels wide. So I'll change that. And when I do, originally this image was about 230 kilobytes. And right now, after I've changed it, it's gone down to about 119. So I've cut the file size in half. It'll load much faster now. So if I'm back in Dreamweaver, and if you're making a web page like this, and you put this in here, now, let me get it full size. Now when I insert that cat image, because I've reduced it, that's about the size I want. As a matter of fact, you can see right now, if I click on this, it's 600 pixels wide. 
this is what I want. This image will load much, much faster. So as you build a web page, just remember, don't grab a big, huge image and squeeze it down and uh, try to make it smaller to fit in there. Squeeze it down and make it the right size before you place it in your web page. That'll make your page load much faster. Now let me show you one of the big tricks that I use, and this is a biggie because it'll really speed things up. And to do that, what I do is I go to a page, it's called Tiny Ping, and what you can do is you can take a, a PNG file, a JPEG file, and you can drop it in here and it'll squeeze it, compress it down. You will not be able to tell the difference between your original file, your original image, and the one that they've compressed. Um, but it can save you a ton of space. It will really make the file sizes smaller. So what you do at Tiny Ping is you just go get your image right here. I'm going to go get my cat image. Right now you can see this is about a 119 kilobyte size image. And all I'm going to do is drag that over here. And when you drag that over it just takes a couple seconds and it's done. It says it just saved you 55%. So remember it started out at about 120 kilobytes and now it's down to 52. So that saved me. That really, really made this file smaller. And if you remember, originally that big image was about 230 kilobytes. Um, when I squeezed it down before I placed it, it got to 120, and now we're down to 52. So I've done this with every image on my web page, and that's why it loads in less than a second, because I've optimized all these images. You can come over here and download it. And if you do that, it'll download to your hard drive. Then you can save that and place that image in there. This Doing this for every image on your page could take a page that's taking six or seven uh, seconds to load and can turn it into a page that takes, uh, you know, instead of six to seven uh, seconds, it could go down to, you know, half a second. It makes a huge difference. So try these techniques out. They'll make your web pages load faster because your images will load faster. Your visitors will stick around longer. Um, it'll be a better experience for them, and I think it'll all work out great. Okay.